always helps to have the cap off first. No vehicles, no Jeeps, no motorcycles, no ATVs. We're in Ida Gulch. It says it is a horse trail. Again, in another side. Horse okay, no Jeep, no motorcycle. No ATV. I don't see nothing about no mountain bikes. Got a new bike in the fall, new to me. We're lucky enough to be able to get demos here in the Moab area. But gonna ride up and go Sister Superior Tower there. It's one of the middle Castletons. Actually, it's just a little bump there. The little ridge you see, so you have the convent mesa and that little ridge beside it's where I'm going to be going up to that southeastern side. Then you can see Castleton out there, and of course, Periat Mesa. Gonna be fun. Spring's almost here, hadn't even got started yet. Ida Gulch. A lot of history out here that's the cliff over the Colorado we're in between Sorrel River Ranch on the other side of those hills and Red Cliffs Ranch right over there which was White's Ranch this is the scene from many 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 here in Onion Creek in this area many 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 old westerns Lots of horses back then, but these days, you see we're all kind of soft, I guess. If I was gonna be riding a horse back then, I'd probably want a helmet on these days, but this is our horse now. saying I really don't know didn't say anything about bicycles so we're gonna stick with that got up the gulch now we're doing the sister superior approach I'm on the back side it's a little swampy but the approach is pretty much in the sunlight so I'm really thinking be able to get there pretty easy Shoes are now muddy. The uh, riding the wash up, it was in good shape for the most part. Just fine. That uh, 27.5 plus tire size is a beast. My, uh, I think I have a little too much pressure on tires. I'm probably going to release just a little bit for the ride out. It was more sandy by far than it was uh, sticky. So, running out of breath. Just getting started. Let the huffing and puffing begin. See you up there. We're up. You can see right down the middle down there is the uh, wash that we rode the uh, bike up. Now we're walking up the ridges. I do believe if I'm not the first up this season, there hasn't been too many, which 
that doesn't mean any about anything to anyone there's probably been tens of thousands of people go up here and do a lot more than I'm even doing just walk into the base of the tower I don't even don't even register a desire to go to the top I think it's cool people do it but the approach is enough for me man it is a uh, beautiful day out springs on the way 2019 has been a crazy year already in the shape of the world but where we are that's a million miles away so here we go let's do that last push what i live for i'm out of practice though i forgot sunscreen today Checking the elevation rise. We're at about 300 feet, plus another. We're at about 500 feet of raise with another. I don't know. I'm gonna say we're gonna raise another 475 feet. And I'm hearing on the low end. So we filled up one SD card. About to start the hike back down. It's been great, did a little live streaming. Hike down's gonna be nice. God, there's that one boulder. It's there that I spoke of. It scares the shit out of me. Not a big fan. But, so I came to the conclusion it is about a 1300 vertical elevation gain up this hike. And that's just where people are, that's the jumping off point. Most of the people that come up here come up here to summit the tower, which I get. If that's your thing, but I think there needs to be more people. Still going. Shit. <laughs> I'm pretty confident I can get back up. It's gonna suck if I can go down the other way. Boy, howdy. Oh, yeah. A video is a grand adventure or nothing. All right, get the last camera on. Let's start this descent. Got a little adventure. Drop the camera. That was one of those things. Get that oh shit moment. But I tell you, <laughs> I was lucky and was able to get it back, but there's plenty of places. I would have just been like, yo, uh, GoPro. You know me, they know me well. I've had to uh, honor insurance multiple times I'm on my third drone. As most of you know, if not, go check out the uh, Golden Eagle video. Oh, and speaking of that shit while I'm up here. So I was, and I don't know how well this angle is, I was right down there in that valley on that ridge 
when I was flying my, so that golden eagle lives up here somewhere. It came from right around here where Castleton is and jacked it. I think he thought he was going to eat it. I don't know what he was thinking. But I don't think it was any kind thoughts. They're ready to go out and we're about to do that. So a little explanation for the uh, jackets. It's probably only about 40 degrees or so, so it's not really that cold. But the short dogs keeps a lot of dirt and the uh, from the frost this morning keeps a lot of moisture off of them. And Dixon, Dixon doesn't really need one, but he pouts if everybody else has theirs on and he doesn't, so he gets one too. 